Ladies and gentlemen, now more than ever is the time to rise. Time to rise. Rise and take off this freaking mess. Oh my gosh, I forgot how hot it was from before. She whiz. Okay, you know what? I'm going back to be a normal person. Ugh. <laughs> Hey everybody, I just wanted to say, now is the time. Time to do what, Montel? Stick around, I'll tell you about it. Brain, mouth, heart, ideas are ready, so. <laughs> Get ready. Hey everybody, it's your boy Montel. What's going on? How's everybody doing? Let me whip a little bit here. There we go. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day, week, month, year, millennium. The winter is about to be here. Winter is coming. Ugh. But the autumn is here. Weather's been crazy all over the place. Hopefully you guys are staying safe. The holidays are coming. So if you're not getting ready to get your eat on, get your present on, do what you got to do. Make sure you celebrate time with the family and friends. But I want to tell you guys, thank you for joining me. I greatly appreciate everything that you've done. So much so that I've gotten new subscribers to everyone who's come to my, my area of the world. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, I had to put the mask on again. So, yeah, I'll turn that off eventually. That's a little bit on the creepy side. Thank you so much for checking me out, you guys. Please don't forget to hit me up on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. More Instagram than Twitter, and Twitter than Facebook. But I'm definitely, I'll definitely respond to anyone. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Show me that you like what I do, and that you support small YouTubers like myself, which is always a wonderful thing. And of course, like my videos, please. Please, please, please. Yeah, I've always wanted to do that, but I always get dizzy afterwards. Ugh, or oh, my equilibrium. Anyway, today I want to talk about, you wonder why I did the intro like that before I said, now's the time. Now is the time. It's time to rise. Yeah, I, I like making my voices change sometimes. So you'll hear me do that from time to time, now more so than before. But today in this day and age, in this age of modern technology with all types of social media outlets and ways to look at the favorite things and to be able to gather and stuff like that now is the best time in the world to be a blurred or nerd or geek or whatever your designation is i am a proud glorified blurred i am sitting here in my blurred con staff shirt from 2019 you ain't got your tickets already. You need to get ready to get your tickets for BlurCon. And it was a phenomenal time. And these past few years have been really wonderful. They have cemented why I love the things that I love. Why I love comics and anime and, and manga and, and, and cartoons and all types of amazing things and fandoms and properties that we get along with because... There was a time where this was actually almost inaccessible. It almost turned into an underground movement. What a lot of people don't realize is that from where I was to where we are now, it was a journey for a lot of people. And people had to take a lot of abuse and, and insults and, and being talked down to and condescended to. But now is the most amazing time to be a nerd or blurred in case I'm going to say a blurred because that's what I am. I'm a blurticorn. Da, 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 da. And if you ever have a chance to visit me, you'll come to my home and you'll see my living room, dining room, my office. As you can tell, you come here, you come into my world. What you see is just a fraction of what I represent. And I love being myself. I love being who I am. The journey that it took me to get here was a rough one. Half the time I actually had to hide who I was for various reasons, but today, pfft, forget it are you kidding me yo 
tell me I can't be a nerd. <laughs> and the reason why I'm doing the video today is because I want to express to people who stay home and are afraid that they won't be accepted or they they don't know how to find other people like themselves it's okay it is perfectly all right and i'm gonna tell you why because there are people out there like myself who will welcome you to the fold there are people like myself who love talking about the different things in restaurants and in malls and in conventions and other gatherings heck i've seen people come together in starbucks and just have this big rick roaring conversation i visited a restaurant not too far around where I was, and went and got something to eat. Started talking with the staff, and we were talking about anime, in particular, Naruto, Dragon Ball Super, and a few other ones. And another person came out of nowhere, heard the conversation, jumped in. Another person came out of nowhere, jumped in. Another one, and next thing you know, we had 10 people in the same spot talking about geek and nerd things, movies, and anime, and Sentai, and and, and comics and we even talked about cosplay and it was amazing my food got cold <laughs> but I didn't care <laughs> you know why because it was so invigorating just to see us get together and it and it crosses all boundaries of race and sexual orientation and whatever title that you have because if you can meet with people in a room they're not worried about if you're a man woman whatever however you designate yourself if you show yourself to be an honest and genuine individual who genuinely loves certain things and you're not a jerk or an idiot or just an insulting individual then you will have brought yourself into a fold where you can make the most amazing friends allies co uh, you know co-patriots even fellow convention goers if you're in an area where you want to go to a convention but you're not sure and you meet these people guess what now you've got a crew to draw to uh, to travel with to the conventions if you are into anime and you want to maybe set up your own little anime club meets once a week bring those folk to your home and sit down have food turn on Crunchyroll or turn on Funimation or put up Hulu or Netflix and just watch it and then start a conversation start a dialogue about what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, what are some of the things you like. Things like this that bring up conversation and bring interaction are a beautiful thing. We have too many people out there who are isolating themselves because they can't find other people. Social media comes into play with that, bringing people together on a remote level, but nothing beats meeting that face-to-face. -face. That's why I'm such a big fan of going to conventions. Now is the time to go to your favorite comic book store and look around and see what's there and what grabs your eye and pull it off the shelf. Ask questions. Hey, I'm trying to get into comics and I like certain things. Can you make some suggestions? And more than likely, the people in the comic store, I know we do it mine and the ones around here, will make suggestions. If you want to get into gaming, whether it's video gaming, of course, you go to GameStop to get your stuff, but there are other communities around who meet through Discord and Mixer and Twitch and all those other platforms. If you want to get into tabletop gaming, there are places where you can get into card games like Magic the Gathering and Yu-Gi-Oh! Or you can get into miniatures games like Hero Clicks, or just play board games. Combine everything together. Or you can go to conventions where they have everything in the same pot. If you've never been to a convention before, I highly recommend you go. Go in your local area, go online and search. We've got the, one of the most powerful search engines around to find different things. You might be surprised, there may be a convention happening just up the street from you and you never knew anything about it. Or you may have friends who have gone to conventions nearby you never knew anything about it. So you're bringing yourself together. Now is the best time in the world to be a blur because everybody who had to endure everything till now took all the lessons and we are bringing them forward and giving you our wisdom saying, hey, it's all right if you don't like this particular comic character or if you don't like this particular anime series or you're not into gaming, a video gaming, that's fine. But there is something that you are, that you do like. There's something that you do love and you can find other people who enjoy that sort of thing. I always encourage people when they go out to interact, be yourself. 
Dress however you want to dress. Wear that Dragon Ball shirt or wear that Superman shirt or wear the, the floppy ears. Heck, I got some in my room. I wear those from time to time. Be you. Be who you are. Define who you are. And if you have a hard time defining yourself, find other people who like the same things that you like. Build bonds, share ideas, give of yourself because you might be an influence on someone else. There are people in my life who were influences on me and I want to continue to be an influence on other people. I'm 50 years old. How many people do you know that are the same age as me that are just as enthusiastic about everything you see around me? I know a handful and a lot of them are really good friends of mine. So it's nothing wrong with getting older, if that's what you're worried about, please. There are conventions still going now, Dragon Con, San Diego Comic Con. They're being run by people of the same age group as me or older. Why? Because they genuinely love being a nerd and a blurred. Now is the time more than anything to be a nerd and a blurred. I'm telling you, don't try so hard to grow up. You'll get older physically, Keep this young. Keep that sharp. Be willing to open your mind to different ideas that are in the culture. You might, you might find yourself to be a fan of Supernatural. There is a huge community of Supernatural fans out there. Trust me when I tell you, they love the characters, the stories. They have their own fandoms. They come up with their own costumes. They do it all. Same thing with comics. There are people who are big Superman, Batman, Black Lantern, Black Panther, Green Lantern. Did I say Black Lantern? I meant Black Panther. <laughs> but that shows you how enthusiastic I am about this. And I don't know to do this very often. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour here. This is kind of <laughs> impromptu. But I want y'all to see. This is what I see whenever I do my videos. This is what I see around here. Yeah, there's a mess back there. I apologize. But I always want you guys to see and genuinely know that I love what I love. I have posters in my room. I have posters in my office. I have wall art in my dining room. I have wall art in my living room. When you come into my home, you the first thing you say is, wow. That's that's what they usually respond with. It's like, wow. This, this is pretty cool. And they didn't know what to say after that until they realized... This is a part of me. This is a part of my being. This is the best time ever to be a nerd and a blurred. Go to your first convention. Go to your first tournament. Go to a comic book store more often. Meet with other people. Sit down and have discussions about why why Sasuke can you know is is better than Naruto or why Vegeta will always be better than than Goku or why what the significance of Hajime no Ippo versus uh, uh, Fist of the North Star, things like that, and you'll be surprised the people that you meet. I have been blessed to have met so many amazing people in my life, people I call friends, family, companions. I could not find the answer to your question. That's because I didn't ask you. See, people want to get in on the conversation. I'm perfectly fine with that, but that's what it means to be a nerd and a blurred, and today. Now in this time is the best time. This is the best time to be who you truly are. Don't be afraid to branch out. Know that you'll be accepted and know that you'll make at least one friend who likes the same things that you like. So I encourage you, if it has been within you to break out and let that inner nerd come out, but you're not sure how it's gonna be accepted, I personally will tell you this. If I see you at a convention, or any other event and you know me, I will wholeheartedly accept you. Why? Because we are nerds. We are blurbs. We are awesome. And don't ever be ashamed of who you are. Never be afraid to express who you are. And most importantly, love who you are. Don't let anyone else's love define who you are if you can't define your own love for yourself. Love yourself. Be the sexiest nerd that you can. Be the beast is blurred you can be whatever you want to do and just be you okay thank you so much for checking me out guys thank you so much for checking out this latest video i know i'm supposed to be doing the black uh, black lightning uh reviews i'll be getting back to that shortly i just wanted to 
divert from the normal path because I've had messages on my heart and I've been writing them down in my book and I wanted to just tell because someone out there needs these messages or someone needs to hear this word and I want to be able to pass that on. I've been blessed in my life and I just want to make sure that people know that there are folks out there who understand and can relate, okay? Don't forget to hit me on social media. Please don't forget to like, share. Please share and subscribe. As always, as I always tell you amazing, beautiful people, do me this favor, okay? Stay nerdy, stay geeky, and please, stay sexy. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>